Meanwhile, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas held a roundtable discussion on Monday to discuss immigration policy, national security, and other issues related to the U.S.-Mexico border. He pointed out that the U.S. has seen a drop in migrant crossings recently. CBS News Immigration and Politics reporter Camilo Montoya Galvez covered that roundtable for us. He is in San Antonio, Texas, uh, with more. Camilo, great to see you. Um, what did Mallorca have to say about the potential executive actions in the Biden administration uh, that are being considered in regards to the border? Hi, Lilia. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas declined to confirm that the Biden administration will indeed take executive action at the U.S.-Mexico border to try to reduce the number of people crossing there illegally. But he did repeatedly say that any executive action that the administration may take, Lilia, will be challenged in federal court by advocates for immigrants or Republican-led states. These two groups have been challenging most of President Biden's immigration agenda, and Mallorca believes that that will also be the case if the administration decides to, in fact, issue an executive order on asylum and on border policy. But we have separately confirmed that the administration is indeed, Lilia, considering the sweeping order that would shut down asylum processing in between ports of entry along the border if the number of crossings soar to particular levels. That is similar to that bipartisan congressional deal that would have also created this emergency provision for the president. We believe that the president may be issuing this order later in the year. That is according to sources familiar with the White House planning on immigration. But Mayorkas did emphasize that the administration will not be able to give itself enough resources and money to address these incredibly vexing challenges at the border on a humanitarian and operational level. Only Congress can do that. And as you know, Lilia, Congress has not passed any significant reform to the immigration system since the 1990s. Interesting. Um, Camilo, I understand that he also addressed the recent spike in migrants from China. What did he have to say about that? That's right. There has been a dramatic increase in Chinese migrants crossing the U.S.-Mexico border unlawfully over the past two years, Lilia. So far in fiscal year 2024, which started in the fall of last year, more than 27,000 Chinese immigrants have been apprehended by Border Patrol. That is up from 24,000 in fiscal year 2023 and importantly up from 2,000 in fiscal year 2023. 22. So there has been a dramatic increase in Chinese immigrants coming to the U.S.-Mexico border. And many of them, Lilia, are flying into places like Ecuador and then getting across the Western Hemisphere to Mexico to cross into the U.S. Mallorca said that the administration is monitoring the situation, that it is trying to convince the Chinese government to accept the return of its citizens, because that is a key dynamic now. Right now, China, Lilia, does not accept any U.S. deportations, and so most Chinese immigrants have to be released pending an adjudication of their claims and cannot be deported. He also did importantly mention, Lilia, that those who are expressing concerns about the potential national security risk associated with the arrival of these immigrants are also the ones who strongly denounce the repressive government in China, which he say... He says, rather, maybe playing a role in pushing people to flee to the U.S. And so he believes some of these Chinese immigrants may be fleeing that repression instead of being Chinese spies or other potential national security risks. Of course. Camilo, thank you for your reporting always.